Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. If you're looking, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Hit the bell so that you do not miss my uploads. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. You can also follow me on all my social media, Shades of Charles and Charles Makeup Edition. So today I created my signature look using my current favorites and some old favorites as well. This is a look I gravitate towards when I just do not know what it is I want to create. I always love to use warm colors and my favorite lip to wear would always be a nude lip. So I may not necessarily create that specific eye look. Whatever look I create would always be around using those kind of warm browns and coppery colors and golds and stuff like that. And I would always pair it with a nude lip or maybe a red lip but nudes is always my favorite way to go this is like my safe look when i just don't know what it is i want to do so if you want to see how i create my signature look enough of that all right so i'm starting with my cover girl Pore minimizing primer and I'm applying that with a brush. I just want to push that into my skin and I had a breakout so I'm trying not to use my hands too much on my face until it heals up the way I want it to. And that's one of my favorite primers to use at the moment. It just creates a real nice base for my foundation to go over top. I know I'm using my NYX Hydro Touch Oil Primer and I'm strategically priming with that and I'm using my brush again because I want to be very strategic with where I want the oil to be. And I'm applying it underneath my eyes and the sides of my face, leaving off my chin and my nose because it's very oily. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm using my Sasha Buttercup Powder and I'm pressing that powder into the areas where I do get oily. Now I'm using my Maybelline Stick Foundation. I'm using this foundation just because I want to create a nice blend with the, my current favorite, which is the Elegal pro matte foundation this foundation is beautiful guys it creates such a nice full coverage finish and dries down to a nice powdery matte finish which i love so so much and i'm using my favorite beauty sponge the real techniques body sponge i love that sponge it's so big it gets the work done very quick now i'm using my um Too Faced multi-use concealer and I'm applying that everywhere I usually apply and I love this concealer because it's full coverage but it's sort of hydrating it's not very matte and um, which is what I want at the moment and while it dries because I like it to get tacky it helps it to give better coverage and everything like that I'm gonna fill in my brows my Colourpop pomade I've been using pomades a lot these days because my brows are on steroids they're just extra thick so I'm just filling in certain areas and really using my spoolie to comb that through the hair so it looks real like my hair really spoolie and comb that product <music> I'm blending out that concealer underneath my eyes the usual I should have cut that out because it's so boring let me let me know if you guys actually like me doing my full coverage foundation or my entire foundation routine all the time let me know what you guys think about it please comment now I'm using my favorite way to set my concealer at the moment is a Ben Nye banana powder it sets the foundation in place and it's not heavy it's very light and my makeup stays on without looking cakey and I'm pressing that in everywhere on my face and then I'm going back and baking the areas where I do get oily which is where you see I'm laying the powder right now and this is always also going to act as a shield because I'm about to do my eyes as well it's going to catch any fallout that may occur now I'm using my P. Lewis eye base and I'm applying that all over my eyes I'm blending it out with a brush and then going in with a dry beauty sponge. I feel like this way helps my helps the product to lay smoother and absorb any excess product and give me a nice finish at the end. Now it's time for the eyes. I did one eye off camera and I'm using my James Charles and Morphe palette, but I'm not focusing too much on the colors as I'm gonna do with the shades. So I'm using a sort of orange peachy base as my transition color on my Morphe 4 M433 brush and I'm bringing that all the way into the inner corner of my eyes close to the beginning of my brows. I want to create a more open eye look and that's a trick you can use when you have very small lid space to create the illusion that you have a bigger lid space. So I'm bringing it all the way to the inner 
corner of my eyes close to my brows to keep that in that inner part of my 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 eyes more opened and I'm applying it until I get the color pale that I'm looking for and I'm blending windshield wiper motions and small circular motions and dragging it out to the tail of my brows. Now I'm using a darker brown that has more of a red undertone and I'm patting that color on the outer corner of my eyes and dragging it slightly underneath the first color that I placed down. for your life honey now I'm using another brown and this brown is a sort of cooler because there's sort of a purple undertone to it and I'm applying it very close to my lash lines and feathering it out to the tail of my eyes and blend those two together I'm going back with that brush and making sure that everything is seamless now I'm using an eyeshadow brush and I'm using a gold and I'm applying that in the middle of my lids close to my crease and blending it and I'm using this brush because I don't want anything to be too harsh and just blend that and pack that color in. Going in with a lighter um, gold now, more of a champagne color gold and I'm applying it to the inner corners of my eyes in that space that I left open. As you can see, it's creating the, the illusion that I have such a big wide eye space, which I really don't have. And now I'm just going back and perfecting the look because when you blend your shadows, they sort of lose their pigment. So I'm just re-intensifying the, um, the pigment. Using my Morphe gel liner, I'm gonna line, use a very a very small definer brush and line very close to my lashes. This line is almost invisible, but it looks invisible, but it creates such a nice illusion. It creates the illusion that I have a very, very thick brows and just adds some more definition to the eye look, as you can see on the other eye. It just creates this nice effect that I love. We call it tight lining. So I'm pulling that through very, very thin, very close to my lashes. I'm not trying to create a wing or anything. Now to complete the face, I'm using my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer and I'm going to bronze the usual face, the, the usual places, sorry. My um, cheekbones, my jawline, my forehead, all the usual places. I'm going to bring back some definition and color into my skin. And this is my current favorite, so everything I am using is what I am loving at the moment, is what I reach for on a daily basis. Now I'm using my Kiss Mineral Powder. I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit. This is my favorite, favorite powder to contour my nose with. I love it so much. This is going to make my nose look slimmer. Who doesn't want a slim nose? Using my Milani um, Luminoso and Fantastico Mauve Blush. I love these blushes at the moment because they have such a slight sheen to it, which is what I want. I do not want my face to look extremely dry because right about now in this weather we're experiencing, my skin is very dry. Now I'm going to set my face with my Olay Hydrating Mist and my Wet n Wild Natural Finish. One is hydrating and one just sets my face. And I'm using my got to be gel and set my brows in place also. Just pulling that through. It's going to separate my brow hairs, make my hairs look more like my brows and keep my brows in place all day. Which is what I want, baby. Using my Master Chrome, Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in Rose Gold. And I'm going to apply that to the usual areas, the tops of my cheek, my chin, my cupid's bowl, my nose, my entire face basically. <laughs> Now I'm going back with that dark brown and I'm defining my bottom lashes and I'm going to blend that out a little bit more because I do not want it to be harsh. I fear harsh lines as I fear the devil. So blend for your life, baby. Blend, blend, blend. Blend the rules. Using my Rimmel um, Cafe Lip Liner, I'm going to line my lips with that to create some definition and contrast because I want a sort of ombre look and I love shades that are obviously <laughs> warm. Using Colourpop Lip Stick in Crack Me Up. Yes, Crack Me Up. I'm going to apply that all over my lips, over the lip liner and everything and make sure it's well blended. <music> See, it creates a very nice ombre. 
and because my lips are so dry I'm gonna go over that with a gloss and I'm using a gloss that's a bit lighter it's just gonna mesh everything together the way I want it to look to create this sort of ombre nude that complements my eyes now I'm being extra AF right now I'm using three different mascaras because I'm not using any lashes so I'm going in with my L'Oreal voluminous lash I'm sorry mascara I'm gonna give my lash some coats with that first because it's gonna create volume then I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal lash paradise and this is gonna give me everything it's gonna give me volume length everything it's just gonna make me look like I'm wearing false lashes and I'm gonna give my lashes some coats I'm wiggling from the base to the end it's just gonna be the best effect then <laughs> yes extra AF Maybelline Big Shot for my bottom lashes. Yep. And that's the complete look. I hope you love it. This is my signature look. This is a look I will wear whenever I feel like I could be going to a holiday party, the club, to work, whatever. Whatever, wherever. This is the, the look I always gravitate to. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and see you again soon.